Once I have Visual Studio installed, I'm going to go ahead and start the program, uh, make my selections on color and background, and uh, after I've started and I have the Visual Studio running, this is called my IDE, and it, it's called an Integrated Development Environment because I can use it to create several types of, um, of programs using several types of uh, different programming languages. In this case, I'm going to use C Sharp to create a Hello World application. And <coughs> it may look daunting at first, but after you start using it, um, it becomes less and less complicated. This is a program with millions of lines, and it, ha it is a very powerful program. But the best way to attack it is to just start using the program and creating applications. And after a while, you become a real pro. So to start off with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. So File, New, Project. And the type of project I'm going to create is a console application. And so I want to make sure that I select C sharp. And <coughs> for C sharp type of project, I have a lot of uh, different choices that are available to me. Uh, the one that I want is this console application. So I want to make sure I've got C Sharp selected and I'm going to create a console application. And a console application means that it runs the program in a small window that it, that uh, will pop up on, the, uh, on your screen. So by default it gives me console application 1. I want to rename this to something um, more descriptive and how about if I call it Hello World? Uh, I want to make sure that I know where it's being saved at, the location of where this is going to create a folder and save all of my applications, all of my programs that are associated with this Hello World application in that folder. And so I know the, the location of that project folder and the solution name I'm going to keep as the same name as my project. Um, I'm going to leave this, create a directory for the solution, in other words create a folder where all of these files will be saved, and then I'm going to click OK. And what it does is it goes in and creates a lot of the supporting programs that are associated with my Hello World application. Um, I can see here in the Solution Explorer some of these files which have been generated. And <clears throat> so these are located in that folder. So when I created this, I, I uh, used the default location in this case. Um, it happens to be under my Visual Studio 2015 folder. And in, if I drill down into projects, I can see that it is right here. So it's a Hello World application that I've created. And later on, I'll know where to come to save and zip this folder. So for now, here's what I want to do. I want to create a program. Um, it already has uh, a lot of code associated with it, which is available to me. One of them, uh, which is called System. So uh, what that says is that I don't have to write that code. Uh, I can just go into my .NET framework and say I want to use the namespace called system. Okay, so now that's associated with whatever uh, I do, uh, whatever code that I write. So uh, let me go ahead and put it in this way. I'm going to say 
I want to output to the console window some text. Here's how I do it. I'm going to start the long way. I'm going to say system dot console there it is and I'm going to write a line of code to the console window and I want this line of code to say hello world and <clears throat> um, so what it's going to do is it's going to write uh, to the console window whatever's between these double quotes in this case hello world okay now you now I am using system already so in this case since I've got this using statement in here I don't really have to type in system because I'm already using it so it's already there um, okay now when I run this and here's how I'm gonna run it I'm gonna say debug and I've got some choices on how I run this uh, later on we'll use step into step over um, but for this class whenever you run a program uh, you should use start debugging not without debugging but since we're learning how to program we need to learn how to debug so I want to use I want to start the program but using debugging so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's uh, working on it building the program and then it will generate a console window and it ran and everything looks okay except for where's my console window let me run it again debug start debugging it runs and it flashes on the screen but then it disappears um, here's what I want to do to hold that down to tack that down I want to say console well, we'll use read line and then I'm going to put parentheses on the end of that and I need that semicolon at the end of the statement which means that's the end of the statement okay okay um, so here's my program I've got a namespace and it's called I called it hello world um, I've got something called a class which by default gets the name of program and the see these curly braces these curly braces are what defines the beginning and end of uh, in this case the namespace here's the beginning and end of this class and inside of this class here's the beginning and end of this main method so this is where we want our code for now we want it inside of these curly braces and inside of the main method and uh, now I put in console write line so that it will pause the output and it will wait for me to do something when I run it so debug start debugging now and when I do that it generates the console window and it let me see if I can so it generates the console window and it did what we told it to do which is output to this console window the 
line, write this line, and it wrote hello world. And in this case I put in three exclamation marks, but whatever's between these double quotes. And then this constal read line says pause until you read the next line from the keyboard. And that next line is just going to be, I'll press the enter key, and that will end the program. Okay, so that's all there is to creating a console application with Visual Studio. So now that I've done that, I'm going to click on Save All just to make sure that I've got everything saved, or File and uh, Save All. I don't want to. I don't want to do uh, Save As. I don't want to do that. I just want to click Save All. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm done with the program. So let's take a look. And again, under projects, I created this program, this project called Hello World. And so what I want to do is that I want, that's my program I want to save. So I want to, here's one of the ways I can do it. If you have a version of Windows, with with a compression program built in, um, you can use that. Um, most uh, Microsoft bought a compression program a long time ago and put it in with Windows, so you should have it available on any of the later uh, versions after, I think, Windows 7 or something like that. Uh, but if you're using another operating system, there are a lot of different compression programs. But on this one, what I want to do is I want to send it to a compressed zip folder. Oops. Right click, send to compressed zip folder. Okay, so it, it uh, went in and zipped this up for me. Now I, you notice I have I'm displaying my file extensions, and if you don't have that available, um, make sure you are showing your file extensions. And the, the file extensions are whatever comes after this little dot uh, on your program. Um, if you can't see that, it will make things a little confusing. So you want to make sure that you can see the file extensions. And um, so you need to track down on your operating system how to do this. And on this one, this version, I think you go to, uh, uh, let's see where it is. And this one, I'm going to go to File and Options and View and um, uh, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. I want to make sure that that's unchecked. That's unchecked. Okay, mine's unchecked already, so I'm okay on that. Okay, so once I've got this zip file, I'm going to rename it. Yeah, I'm going to rename it to um, something descriptive. Okay, uh, I've got a name in here, underscore module 1, and this is an assignment for module 1, and it's the console application. Okay, so I've got that. I've run my program, I've created it. Uh, now I want to uh, Say if that's all there is, if that's the only assignment that I'm uploading um, with this particular assignment, uh, then what I would do is I would go into Canvas and up and submit assignments. Well, I can't show you right now, but <coughs> from the assignment on the top top right hand side of the page, there's a submit assignments. Uh, when you click on that. 
it will bring up a dialog and that dialog will allow you to browse to find this zip file which you can upload and save. In the comments that's where you add any information about uh, um, the assignment and anything else that, that uh, is needed to be known and then you click submit assignments and it will post the assignment and tell you the date whether it's on time and uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, So that's it for creating a basal, basic C sharp console application and uh, uploading it into Canvas.